Hello Box Logo Killer. If you're, uh, if you're wondering why I'm taking this bit gingerly, um, I've never done it on a Madhouse before, so I'm actually unaware if there's any sort of enemy changes or in terms of positioning or anything like that. So uh, it's quite, a, it's, 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 it's as tense as the first time at the moment. Hope you're all right. Thank you for stopping by. Hmm. I can't I can't even remember if you get if you get enemies before you get the uh, the arm. I can't remember they only turn up on the way back or I don't know. It's cool though. It's such an app. I mean in this in VR is 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 it's unbearable. <laughs> to be honest. It's unbearable. Nicholas, hello and welcome. Oh, I guess this is it. This game was special. It certainly was. Huge, huge favourite of it on the podcast we are. Ah, oh, you just forget how, how good these little set pieces are. Like I say, in, in, in VR, this is unbearable. It, it really is. One down. On barrel wing is just yeah, it's 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 legitimately terrifying because you, you just you can you can barely see in front of you. It's easily the scariest part of the game. This bit, I mean, it, it obviously gets lessened the more you do it. But that first time through was like, phew, yeah, no thanks. I mean, it, as we've said in the latest podcast episode, it's almost a shame we're not going to be able to. Uh, experience um, House Beneviento the first time in VR because I just, yeah, no thanks. I have a feeling I can probably bypass a lot of these by just shutting doors. you don't worry okay that was actually not bad at all that was that was okay <laughs> I thought that was going to be a lot more worse than it was can can tolerate that no 
That's just trying to run. Yeah. Did you find it? Yeah, I got it. Are we really going to be able to make serum with this thing? It'll be fine. After we make it, we can get out of here. Together. I'll be waiting for you in the trailer. What on earth is that? <laughs> is that a modified emoji? <laughs> Very good. Just wondering if I picked up the photo. No, there we go. I can grab the full and grab whatever's. I can't remember what's in the the toilet, but the grave without the truth. Hmm. Now where the hell are you? You know, never mind. We only need the head, and you've got it. This is going to help me and me, right? Just let them both go. What do you need them for? Nah, uh, uh, that's family business, Ethan, and not your concern, understand? <clears throat> now, if you want the head, feel free to come by any time and I'll give it to you. But only if you participate in a little uh, activity I put together just for you. What activity? Oh, oh, oh. I know you're excited, but don't worry. It's not going anywhere. First step I need you to take, <laughs> partner, is for you to take a peek inside the fridge in the trailer there. Fuck you. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. You want to have fun, don't you? Now, look in the fridge. Lovely. The pig is waiting for you in the dissection room, bitch. Right. Magnum ammo. Magnum ammo and no magnum yet. I uh, don't need that just yet. Pop that there, that there. Time for a jaunt back in the Mansion. I actually have the new shotgun, but I'm just trying to get these last three, last three shells used. I'm trying to make every shot count, obviously. But hopefully, there's not going to be many molded down here. God, fucking lights are out. Saves every mag bullet in case there's a bigger... Absolutely, yeah. How many times do you finish a RE game with that kind of ma mindset and mentality and you end up, uh, you know, completing the last boss with an, a literal arsenal? No 
I didn't open that earlier. I almost don't want to. I don't, don't want to go this way. Almost. <gasps> okay, no. Ah! <laughs> God damn you! remember then isn't this originally where you find the fight the four-legged molded obviously in madhouse they're in it a lot earlier but I wonder if this changes at all this encounter no Ethan's made from stern stuff because a lot of people wouldn't do this, even if their life depended on it. Closer to getting that magnum unlocked. Uh, right. Let's just to make sure we don't accidentally reload the other shotgun. Swap that out. Right. Not that I've got any shotgun shells to reload into, but. He says. And they shall appear. Perfect. Oh, as if I've not got enough room for the treasure photo. Tell you what. Let's use the supplements. Pick that up, oh my god. They do do a good job of like hiding um, certain items in plain sight. So that you know you, you can only sort of see them with the supplements. Oh no, 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 no.
No, please, 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 please. No, 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 no. That's not the fireplace that you, you go to the where me where you see Mia getting dragged away, is it? I think it probably is, which means it's in the old house. I don't know whether I fancy a trip over there to be honest. I've got a feeling it is, isn't it? I'm sure you crawl through that fireplace and that's where you have the little cutscene with Lucas and Mia. I mean, I can save and go and run and have a look, actually. I've got an extra tape that's not there. Death, hello, sir. Welcome. Oh, hi, everyone, by the way. I forgot to put the, uh, forgot to put the old cam on. That's not, that's not that fireplace, Nick. Hope you're okay, Death. Thank you for stopping by. It's the room where you creep through. Computer says no. Ah, oh, like the, the trophy room where you would originally get the grenade launcher. That one, which actually has a crow door in it. To be honest, thinking about it. I think so, yes. Well, that's that's this way, but I'm, there's going to be a moulder, isn't there? I've done quite a bit, so let's, uh, let's use this tape. I've got quite a few tapes. Because I'm on the, I'm on not great health, um, so I can afford a little, uh, can afford a little misdemeanor now. I can nearly afford the magnum. I might even use some of these special coins. Bit tired, but all right. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, a bit, a bit the same to be honest. Um, yeah, not really much, much to report. Not a lot's happened. I think there's a deer head or something in there. Okay, well, let's go and have a look. And if mould had come my way, I've saved, so it, it matters not. E. Ah, good call, Nick. Good call. Still waiting for the RE1 playthrough, Nick. Yeah, he'll get back to it, I'm sure. Ah. Steroids. Oh man, I should have come and got that first because then I'm gonna have to do this every time when I wanna uh when I wanna do that again. Your max health increased. Thank you, Nick. Good call. Oh crow key. I've got the crow key. I'm sure many people are saying, "Where is the re where is the third person mode for this game?" Star. Ooh. Assassin Four. What is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Four eight nine three double two. Thank you for following. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the shenanigans. Um, and if people haven't noticed, I've had to revert back to the direct. Sec Direct X11 version, so I could have this mod in place because this mod didn't work with the new version. You gotta have typewriters back. Right, let me just get this. Uh, let me just get this crow key. Let's see what I'm gonna do as well. I'm gonna pop another psycho stimulant because I always seem to remember there's loads of items in these rooms. So we shall have a look. I need to re I need to render the last stream myself because the connection 
timed out a few times and um, ended up br the Marguerite fight ended up being sort of broken down into um, three different streams. What the fuck's that? Which was irritating to say the least. See the way they hide stuff like that. It's just it's very. It's ingenious. I like it. Because theoretically, you could find them if you just looked hard enough. Another coin. Oh, are you joking me? See, why have I brought the shotgun with me? Inventory faux pas. Make the merry run back again. Where is that item? Is that like in between the crawl space or something? Oh my god, look at them all. Right, it's been this shotgun off. Doing for antique coins now. Five, six. Yep, I can afford the Magnum now. Great. As we go, see what you know. What what screams re more than having to run backwards and forwards between um, you know, save rooms? You, because you, you're making inventory mess ups and it's classic RE. There's no zombies, of course, and it's not like over the shoulder or camera angles, but it's it's there. Oh, okay. Oh man, ambushed. For later, when I'm in the game of oblivion, oh, backpack. Medicine. Ah, Clancy. I remember this room well. My graphical fidelity is not good enough. Quarter past ten. It's 
very good. Tangan ammo. Great. It's, it's creepy that. It's very creepy. Absolute savages making me run through here again. I've got to do all that housekeeping again now. Madhouse, ladies and gentlemen. Ambushed. Christ. Well, at least I can do it a little bit quicker this time because I don't have to make the uh, same housekeeping mistakes. But I know that's a lot there. I need the crow key now. Chuck Clutch, hello. Um, it was going alright until that death there, but yeah, not too bad. Thank you. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. That was, uh, that was a, bit, um, a bit embarrassing, that one. But we try again. Especially because I dodged the uh, moulded so well in the hall. I was really... Uh, I was quite impressed with uh, my light-footedness. Unlocking steroids, get them used. There we go. You know, once upon a time, we'd never bat an eyelid if you died in an RE game to having to like repeat a section again, you know, basically well rehearsed and just going back and doing it again. And I think we've just been spoiled with endless checkpointing and, and things like that. That now it, it, it kind of feels you know, unnatural to have to re retrace your steps. You know, it's like a it's like an inconvenience now. I could have sworn I'd seen some enhanced tangan ammo that I fuck did that just randomly drop off that I couldn't pick up, and I can't remember where it was. Oh, it was it was downstairs in the basement. Well, I'll try and pick it up. time. Just a quick stop off. Just good, just killing time at work before I leave for the day. I'm impressed you're able to watch um, Twitch while you're at work. A fair play. No. 
Let's see how first aid meds. It was shotgun ammo last time. Got to eat. I'm the IT admin. Ah, very nice. Excellent. Ethan, here's a log pick. It might be handy. Burner fuel. Why is the game giving me burner fuel again? No. Brido, welcome, sir. I'm alright. How are you? You already died once tonight, mate. You'll be, pr you be proud. Uh, ambushed. There's nothing in there, right? Then um, we can't go back up that way. So the only way around. It. So what happens if I go this way? Yeah, I should have just done that last time. Should ow, Jesus! Oh, how did I miss that? No, no. Oh no, no, no. Ah. On the high knee. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. This is, uh, this is Madhouse, as it's called in this, yeah. Again, I just dallied too much there. Dallied. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this door open ready. Let's get that door open ready. I don't know whether it probably shuts on its own, but get it ready. Bit of, bit of pre-planning. Okay. Bit of a crazy week already, so hence some beerage. I, you know, I feel that to be honest, but I've just been doing a little bit too much of midweek drinking, so I'm uh, knocking it on the head again for a duration. I try and not, you know, as a rule, not try and not drink in the week. Um, but it's just the, the problem is the good weather just invites it. That's that's my problem. You know, it starts getting like sunny evenings and it's boiling. Nothing better than just uh, cracking open a cold beer. Harbour, hello. Did you have a chance to admire the Arclay Mountains photo in the main hall? Always. It's a dubious connection at best, but you have to take it. It's a nice one. That really brought me back into the lore of the games. I was like, wait a second, yep. I don't have good weather in Glasgow. <laughs> oh, yeah. It can't be like that all year round. I bet sometimes it, uh, sometimes it gets nice, surely. And then I found our re-podcast. Well, welcome, thank you. I must admit, when the first time I played this through VR, and this will sound silly, but just bear with me, the, the, the first time I played it in VR, and I got to stand in front of the Arkley Mountains um, painting or pic photo, whatever it's supposed to be, um, was actually like a super surreal moment, because obviously you get so immersed in the world that like it, you kind of just felt like you were there. Um, it does a very, very good job of like tricking your brain. I can I can assure people that I do not get paid by Sony to uh, promote 
PlayStation VR or, or you know, Oculus Quest 2 or anything like that. But it, if you do get an opportunity to try it and you don't suffer from motion sickness, I, I, you know, really, really do recommend it as an experience. They are, they are truly exceptional. Three weeks of sunshine mostly and it's intermittent summer. Oh dear. This gets tense, this gets tense, this gets tense. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is this the new updated version? It isn't. No, I mean, this is played on PC, and my PC is not, um, to be generous to it, it's not modern. Um, it did run the new version okay, but it broke the it broke the typewriter mod, and I wasn't prepared to lose that. I'm getting PSVR two when it play it's play village. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I just hope it's not going to be astronomically expensive PSVR two, but I will for sure get it. Quite generous with the older shotgun shells there. Yeah, I'll, I'll absolutely get PSVR too. Uh, by all accounts, it's going to be. I'm just more than more than more than anything looking forward to the wider aperture lenses because apparently it it gives the impression of like full peripheral vision. If anybody's used sort of VR extensively, you do get. Even with all comfort modes switched off and everything like that, you do get a kind of tunnel vision effect. Uh, whereas the things that the, the the PSVR 2 is supposed to be a bit groundbreaking in that the actual lens is like much bigger than your eye. So as you look, you can't actually see the sort of the frame of like where the image ends. It, it goes beyond your vision and gives the eye, you know, total immersion that you're actually sort of there. And that could be quite exciting. Because if, if there's anything that sort of pulls you from it, it is the fact that you don't quite have the peripheral vision we do as humans. You know, if you look to the left or right, you, you do see the edge of, edge of the lenses. Let's run this way. Hey, now, will that door be still open? I ask you. I fucking ducked. Is he fucking ducked? Way. Christ! Didn't um, took block damage. I'll take it. Right. So we've got the first key card. We can go out and actually pop that in, can't we? Had some really bad load stutters tonight. I do apologise. Like I say, my my PC does struggle a bit now. I'm sure the uh, e more eagle-eyed of you can see this isn't running like maxed out. Look at this, poor thing. Timer. Uh Six antique coins, and I'm going to use because I never, never use them anyway. I use this one, and this one, and this one. Don't know what the universal coin does. Never mind. I'm sure the magnum would be a greater benefit. I just updated my PC because my motherboard died. Oh no. Went for an i7. God, so you need to basically nearly doubled the spec then. I mean, you don't even want to know what i7 this is. It's uh, it's a little bit older than that. 
This is a 2012 rig. Oh, come on. Surely it lets me use these. I... Well, I... I always thought you could use these coins. Well, well, that's uh, that's uh, that's put an end to that idea then. That's really weird. I always thought you could use those coins. Oh well, while I've got the space, I'll carry I'll carry the universal coin for a bit. I don't know what it does, but. It increases crit chance, I guess, does it? Oh, lovely. They're so much faster on Madhouse, it's ridiculous. I'm sure they're actually teleporting. Your rig lasted longer than mine. They don't usually, believe me. This is the longest... Well, I'm to be honest, within the first year of having this, this is an Alienware. Um, my motherboard had problems and actually died within the first year. Thankfully, it was warranty covered, but I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Um... The after sale service with Dell was because Dell own Alienware now was the worst I've ever experienced in a in a you know in a company. It was horrendous, and it's actually despite the rig being reasonably solid and quite good, it it put me off from ever buying from them again because any issues and you have to go through Dell and yeah, just awful. I've still not played this game out of the box on PS4. I hated this game at launch. Smashed a lot of village. Need to go back to this to be fair. But it's a, a lot of different tempo and pace to village. Absolutely. If village is like, you know, a first person RE4 at times, um, this is very much, you know, a first person remake. This is one of the darkest things I've ever done in this series, is, is Lucas leaving. Oliver to starve to death upstairs in his attic and then when he starts decomposing you get this weird juice dripping from the ceiling it's absolutely grim Dell is terrible my company stopped dealing with them too yeah, terrible service and it's a shame because Alienware themselves although you can complain about the price of Alienware you know the rigs they actually build are, are, are solid you know they're decent um, you know, or at least they were I've not obviously had a recent one. I don't know whether whether that that's changed in recent years or not, but yeah, Dell, ouch. Bit of soldier. Let me out, Lucas. Oh, man. Forgetting here.
I told him to come over there and then show him by remote control. I changed the remote control so stupid Zoe can't go into the. I melded it with one of my inventor's contest trophies. Now she will never find it. Which RE game is my absolute favourite? Resident Evil 2 Original it was a game that defined and changed so much for me in terms of storytelling and gaming and um, uh, expanded the horizons of of this series like exponentially um, it will always have a, a, you know, a strong place in my heart that game absolutely Trevor and Chamberlain Construction, there you go. Oh, treasure. Uh, Trevor, treasure. What? So, what will the uh, axe puzzle unlock in this? Solid choice, mine would be the one you hate. Uh, unless you're about to say Operation Raccoon City or. Um, Umbrella Core. I, 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 I won't hate what you're going to say. At all. Code Veronica? I love Code Veronica. Code Veronica is one of my favourite in the series. For, for a long time, it was my favourite. I... I I love Code Veronica. I'm one of the probably the only people on the podcast who actually, you know, actually do like love it as such, you know, because obviously I have to fend, I have to, uh, I have to fend Batman off because obviously, you know, Batman doesn't like it very much. But no, I love Code Veronica. Code Veronica is one of my absolute favourites. Trust me, you're in good company. No, I mean I had a, I was obviously a big Sega fan back in the day, and I went, you know, I had the Saturn, and then went on to the Dreamcast. So you know, I got a very early taste of uh, of Code Veronica. Yeah, love it, absolutely loved it. It's the Axe Man. Oh, you are joking me! Are you serious? He's backtracking in this, I'll get you killed. <laughs> they better not be moulded everywhere. Decent. Part of me wants a remake for it, but I think it may lose its charm. You see, now you're starting to lose me with that one. What's the worst non mainline game apart from six? What's your worst non. Do you mean. Apart from six, do you mean worst mainline game? If you're talking about like a numbered entry, my least favourite will probably be zero. To be perfectly honest. I'll come back and do these bits in a minute. Let's just let's just get that key card and then get and then do the axe thing and then I'll save before I go into Lucas's fun house. 
yeah, I, I mean, I don't mind. I don't dislike Zero as much as some people, but like, it, it's, it is nonsense. It's nonsense. Thankfully, you know, it, it does have an amazing atmosphere. Oh. Separation agent there. I should quite like six is all right. If anyone who listens, I'm always banging on about six. It's it's absolute, it's absolute nonsense. Like it, it it's beyond nonsense, Resident Evil Six. But I I I have a great time with the gameplay. I have a lot of fun with the gameplay. Excited for zero, and wait, where's the item box? And the the problem is that I don't mind necessarily the mechanics that zero introduces like the non item box thing but then they completely botch it by having by giving you six slot characters and items that take up two slots it just ends up becoming a, a absolute chore of just lumbering items from place to place and un until you actually learn like where the shortcut the natural shortcuts kick in and stuff like that it gets a bit better then But certainly, the the sort of first couple of times through, until you get truly your head around the inventory and can remember when to drop things and when you don't need the hook shot, it's a uh, yeah, it's a, it's a headache to be honest. Most reason six is great. Let me talk to Mia. No, no, no! You gotta show up first! You haven't forgotten where the party is, have you? You can get in from the courtyard. So come on, man! Everybody's waiting for you! So that's the uh, same voice actor as Dr. Moreau there from uh, um, Village. For those that didn't. The fuck? No, no! No! No, 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 no. No, oh, no, what, what's my heal button? Since I reinstalled it, all my controls have reset. Oh, no, 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 where's key assignment? There it is. Heal, that's, oh, God. Of healers out. There. Beautiful. You got. You got. This is intolerable. Hadn't saved for a while, and I still want to do just the last couple of minutes. Bit last couple of bits of housekeeping. Atmosphere is good and the lore is interesting. <clears throat> it's well worth playing, Breedo. Give it a blast. Because at the, at the end of the day, despite some of the flaws, it is classic RE in terms of like you know gorgeous camera angles, a great atmosphere. Um, it's incredibly silly, but it, you know it has some some good ideas that just ultimately aren't realised overly well. But it's still absolutely worth the. It's worth a blast. There's not more of those four-legged moulded running around, is there? Hmm. I thought there was a box. Oh, it's upstairs, isn't it? I'm not going back in there. I'm not. I'm not going back in. You can't make me go back in. I'd hope the PC version would make it co-op, but it'd be, it'd be interesting, yeah. Stabilizer.
Right, and before I save, we shall do the happy birthday video just for a, just for fun. Because we've got to, we're doing the whole sort of law beats, so we've got to see Clancy's last moments. We've done all the other cassette tapes, so here we go. One moment. Here we go, boys and girls. So, uh, now obviously we said about midweek drinking and all that. Are you ready, Breedo? I'm going to break your heart here. A bit of bitter shandy, mate. A bit of bitter shandy. Mm -mm. I've watched too many playthroughs of the Eliminator and Leechman being pricks. Is that because you're watching George Trevor playing it by any chance? Mish, hello. How did your stream go, mate? Have you finished Odd World? People say you're a madman for not using the rewind function. I've never played an Odd World game in my life. To be honest. It's, it's, it's not stellar. We're talking. We're talking, I mean, they're not sponsoring this stream or anything, but the old Tesco here, mate. Look at that, Tesco. Tesco, a bit of bitter shandy. Lemonade. Anyway, I digress. Brito, Grito. It's 99, you finished it, bloody hell. I don't even know whether that's you know a huge achievement or not to be honest because like I say I've um, is it is it 50 hertz glory unfortunately why am I stuck in this room man here we go All right, trying to remember this sequence that's blasphemous I know that's blasphemous and look here's your here's mother Miranda Look at that. How's that for a connection years in advance? I'm not sure if it was. It likely would have been a super early PlayStation 1 game, wasn't it? Before a lot of the, some companies used to use their own sort of internal optimizations and that. Yep, there's, there's Mother Miranda. Well, we assume. I've not like confirmed it one hundred percent, but it's it's the old lady at least. Ha! 
happy fucking birthday. Got a light? I'm calling the game. I'd really like to make it out of this room alive and not die a horrible, painful death. I know. It's a temp title. Take a candle, light it, and put it on the cake. And remember to smile. This party is for you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. I will show you box logo. You have to look through a lens, basically. If the game reads SCIE um, with the game boot, it's always going to be 50 hertz. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the P no PS1 era game had a 60 hertz mode. That was something we got spoiled with when the Dreamcast came along. Um, in super rare cases, I think companies would do their own internal optimizations to speed the game up. Um, but for, uh, as a as a hard rule, you would say um, they're always going to be running in, in 50 hertz. Unfortunately, there's no water coming out. No, 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 no. Here. All right, where's the it's head cannon, of course, absolutely. The code for the door, then. You've you've missed uh, me pointing out to people, Nick. Obviously, the Mother Miranda lady. Did you all you boys get director's cut on PS3 and 4 and 5? Yeah, thankfully I had it bought from years back. So it was just automatically unlocked. So we'll have to just... There we go, that's washed the filth off that. And then I think you look through here, and this is how you see the code for the padlock. So, what's that? Hanging person, bird, baby. And there we go. something up don't you with that do you the dummy finger PS3 is dead mate no did you have it unlocked from back in the day, though, Brido? Because it would still be unlocked if you'd obviously had it. Why isn't there a trophy for blowing up all the balloons?
quill. No, I don't think there was a trophy, was there? Dummy finger. And quill. I don't know how, how Lucas is able to program this. I had the OG games at the time. Oh, yeah, fair enough then. And obviously, the PlayStation Three could, you know, back when pa backwards compatibility was just, you know, a thing that you didn't have to expect. It was just there. Chuck Lutch, enjoy your evening after work. Thanks very much for stopping by. Take care. And so too lies Clancy. Hopefully they do the whole RE trilogy since they've done this. They should easily. Because 2 and 3 are still available on the uh, PS3 store to my knowledge. I think they're still there. Um, they were the 60Hz versions over in this country as well which was great. some ammo <laughs> we've just saved so if I end up making some inventory gaffes then it's not too bad I want Survivor. No, Survivor never was never on the PS3 store, unfortunately. That is it. That is a game that is, you know, lost at the moment, unfortunately. Gaiden on PS5. <sighs> Where's Gaiden on the Nintendo stores? Let me ask you. Here we go then. Oh, 
Look at that glorious CRT. The, the acting is really impressive as well. Really, really good there. The only problem is, this game, even the uh, new versions of this game, don't have a cutscene skip. So if I die, being as Madhouse, I'm going to have to live through that again and again. And now I can have the Magnum. Is it going to let me go back? Oh, it will let me go back. See, I should have come and done that first. And then saved. It's just going to be a bit annoying having to resit through that again. And again. And again. Uh, oh, what? I still can't afford. Are you joking? Oh, man. I thought I'd picked up another... I've missed a coin somewhere. I've got a feeling it was upstairs in the bedroom. Looking forward to seeing them fat moulded in Madhouse. It must be tough, yeah. somewhere. I could have sworn there was. Was it in here? Maybe I already picked it up. Damn. I must have done. I'm, I miscounted my coins. I do apologise. I can't remember how the bird cages work. So obviously, I'm not going to come back here. 
But I think the cages move later on with the game, don't they? And I assume the unlock amount remains the same. It'd be a bit brutal if it, it, it resets just because they move position. They get transported. I just hope the coin amounts remain the same, that's all. That's all. Right. Fuck, forgot about them. Forgot, totally forgot about that. That'd have been good if that had killed me, wouldn't it? Repair kit, but I don't need it because I don't. I don't even think. Did I pick? I don't even think I picked up the broken handgun. I maybe did. Chem fluid? No. Great, well. I know. Fucking password, right? Mm, why don't you try 0814? No! 0621. No, 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 no. It's 0514. Oh, come on. Take a chance. You never know. RE3 sound effects. Oh, no, hang on. How many people got killed by this the first time? Right here, yep. 
I think we all did. The game does a very good job of distracting you. A bit of misdirection there. Alright, okay, well, here we go. Say the hidden in plain sight aspect of the items is, you know, is is cool. Four-legged molded. I want to say in this bit. Shotgun looks so small. It does, but it packs it packs a wallop compared to the uh, default. <sighs> Fucking things everywhere. coin I can finally get the magnum oh and I've just got no inventory oh you're gonna you're gonna hate me guys but I think I might just if I can I might just go and just do the quickest bit of housekeeping because I don't want to go into that barn without saving oh hang on though there is a save point isn't there I can come back down and grab them let me use the item box I think I've only got to fight something like two molded and then I'm, I've got a save room. Because you get a save room, don't you, right at the top before you, you have to go down the elevator with the fat molded. Uh, so let's put the magnum bullet away. Gun repair kit away. Don't need these keys. I'm glad it's my pal through this on stream because I've watched a full playthrough. No idea, almost five years on Madhouse. It's it. It's it's genuinely ace madhouse. It it reminds me, coincidentally, of you know because Neptune was only playing it a couple of days ago. But it reminds me of the advance mode in the original Resident Evil Director's Cut. In that it's quite a remixed game mode. It's not not as dramatic as the advance mode. But you, if if you're only used to playing the normal version of this, and then you decide to chuck. Um, you decide to chuck this on, like it, it will throw you off a little bit at times. I should have waited. For, I should have waited on that, really, shouldn't I? Because you get a free, you get essentially a free heal with that. But never mind. Off, you big bastard. Oh, <sighs> 
No. God. <laughs> That's a lot of progress I've got to redo. That's a lot of progress. That's probably about half an hour. Gives you a checkpoint. You get one checkpoint in hard mode do you, in Madhouse, do you? believe that I can't believe you get a checkpoint that's you you don't have actually ha so that's actually quite handy to know if you're doing a no save run that you always get a soft checkpoint here I remember you guys saying on your review of this you gave up on Madhouse it was too, I couldn't even do Mia the first because I'd um, got the collector's edition or whatever it was that had the um, the you know the unlocked madhouse straight away and uh, yeah I, I couldn't even do Mia it, it it just totally overwhelmed me and I actually in all honesty I had a miserable time with it um, I remember sort of sarcastically going on the uh, you know the, the 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 chat group that we used to organise the podcasts and sort of saying you know can I have Resident Evil Six back. I was, for the first sort of couple of hours of playing this, I was I had a really miserable time with it, just just trying to sort of smash my head against a wall, um, trying to do Madhouse, and then I ended up going back to normal and had a far better experience uh, to the point where this is the first time I've touched Madhouse since. Using enhanced anger ammo. That's wicked. because I don't need it. Ah, I'm rushing, I'm rushing. Shouldn't be rushing, why am I rushing? Zero eight one four. No, 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 no. Zero six two one. No, 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 no. 
no, no, it's zero five one four. Oh, come on, take a chance. You never know. Try and not make the same mistake this time. Oh, you're fucking joking. <laughs> you notice how cautious and steady I was that first time through, and it's just all going wrong. Let's hope I don't get murdered before I can get to the uh, the um, steroids. I'm not I'm not wasting a heal on it when I know I can can get that. How is it all going wrong? How is it all going wrong? Screen jam has to be the least aesthetic and ineffective force in the case you play the video games. You can thank Call of Duty for that, I think. Or was it Medal of Honor, probably? Oh God, there we go. I don't need to. I've done it. I've done it. I got my. Uh, I got my. Um, God, what do you call it? Steroids, and they, that boosts your health to full. Oh my God! Cruel game. For those coins in village, I think only as a treasure item. I think I think one I think there is a coin from this as a treasure item that you can trade in with the duke. It's like a rare one. You fucker. It's amazing how differently that goes when you can uh, when you can preempt it. certain I go up some stairs here and there's a save room. I'm pretty sure it's there. And hopefully there's not gonna be any more enemies between now and then. Yes. Get rid of the burner and I'll run back down and grab Are you in Edinburgh? I am not. Sunny Lincolnshire is uh, 
where I am. Which, for people who aren't aware, it is um, if you're not from the UK, it's on the east coast of the United Kingdom. In England. Hmm. So very... It, it's pretty neat that, that obviously they've got like a typewriter mechanic with ink ribbons and stuff. Um, obviously modded, but would be a tape tape recorder here. They give you so many that it um, it it barely even factors into it. I mean, I've been saving fairly regularly, and I have seven cassette tapes left. What am I doing on antique coins? Right, I can definitely afford the Magnum next time I go back then. Um, I'm sure I've got a lockpick. Let's see what's in this box of tricks. Flame rounds. What am I doing for time? I've got a good till about ten. Well, I'll try. I'll have. I'll have the battle against the fat molded then, and then um, save it shortly after that. So, set the grenade launcher. Could have really done with a magnum, couldn't I? Never mind. Let's see how we get on. What's this? One really wants to give me more burner fuel. Plenty of shotgun shells, though. Now, which is nice. Shotgun shells. Uh, always one. Home to the jolly fisherman, indeed. I'm cracking fish and chips around here, if you like that kind of thing. Decent sausages, although I don't I think ironically Lincolnshire sausages aren't made in Lincolnshire or some sort of twisted thing like that. Whoa! Oh my god, how, how fast are they? Jesus Christ! I get over how fast they are. And health inflated health pools. Jesus 
Christ. Well, this is going well, isn't it? Wow. Wow. <laughs> These guys are hard, generally. I've got my neuro rounds. I can always rely on them. Yeah, that was, that was tricky. If only I'd got the magnum. Very generous with the shotgun shells. Well, that's always a always a detonatable one then. I could have sworn you could always have you could always jump down here and get like a little bit of a circuit going, but I guess not. I presume I can't just run into the lift. Does it not work like that? Can you actually run into the lift? I've never actually tried to do that. Got one. Jesus Christ. Fuck. No. <laughs> it was worth a try. Ah, I can get. No. <laughs> there we go. It was worth a try. Struggling again in the bullet. <laughs> yeah, always. That's what makes it fun. Probably still should have, you know, tried to carry on the fight rather than try and go for the lift. But I, I, had, to, I had to do it because I honestly couldn't remember um, whether you can actually like leave the fight early <laughs> and you can't Why? Why? Why game? Rosal91, thank you very much for the sub. You didn't have to do that, but thank you. 
you do appreciate it. I don't I don't stream anywhere near enough to warrant subscriptions, but I appreciate it anyway, so thank you. And now you're gonna get see me die as a reward. Not both of them, surely. Take that. I was the, I was empowered by the subscription, so thank you, uh, Rosal. That made all the difference there. There we go. Grenade launcher ruled supreme there. Uh, that wasn't me. That was that was all the grenade launcher, and the uh, and the sub. So thank you. That's a nice place to round it out, actually. So I am actually going to have to draw it to a close, unfortunately. Oh, it's this way. There's no 11th hour trip mine's going to ruin me. in here. Okay. Our last Clancy, 1408. First aid medicine. Tell you what I will do. I will do happy birthday because I can do it quickly, and then I can save in that little save room afterwards, and then fuck this up and get completely, completely killed. This is a ball like having to do this. I will say. wasn't it? Oh no, what was it? Oh, I can't actually remember. One, oh, one, one, four, oh, eight, wasn't it? One, four, oh, eight. You. Right, so let's sequence break this. Trigger this bit, haven't you? That's it. Oh, I, what do you say we play a little game? All you gotta do is light the candle. 
and put it on the cake. Kiss my ass. Ethan, language. There are children in the building. Somewhere. I think. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Oh. Why would you stand near it? Motherfucker! Special delivery! Unless you have any more surprises at first. I suggest oh, you... Now that would be telling, Ethan. And I don't do spoilers. There we go. Finally. So. See, more tapes. Try and rebuild the arsenal before I save it, because otherwise I'm going to have to do it every time, aren't I? And then I will call it a day, so... I don't really need the knife, I don't use it in any kind of massive capacity. Take the shotgun and take the burner because it always wants me to. And we take the grenade launcher, which has got no ammo for it. Oh, 
didn't realise I was quite so stacked with health, so that's not actually too bad. It really is a shame I haven't got the magnum for this fight. But there we go. I'll take the gunpowder as well. Just on the off chance. I think that is about it for housekeeping. I need. Do I need to take the D suit? Do I, need, I, I do. Don't I do? Don't I? Otherwise, it won't. And I need to take the crank for a, a bridge. I think. Right. I think we're about there. So this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Ready for next time, which will be the Jack fight. We'll quick hop across the pier, and then the big Jack battle, and then onto Mia's section, and then. End game. So wicked. Thank you very much for Assassin four eight nine three two two. If you're still around for the follow, Rosal ninety one. Thank you for the sub and thank you for everybody for watching me. That was good fun tonight. It wasn't. We had a couple of setbacks, but overall, pretty decent going. Thank you very very much. And I will. I've never been to Glasgow either. If it means it makes any difference. Um. So, yes, until next time, take care. Thanks very much. Have a good rest of the week and all that. Winslow, hello. Thank you for stopping by. I don't know how long you've been watching, but welcome. And um, I will sign off, and I will see you all very soon. So, cool.